Hey there, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music, and welcome to another video. This time I wanted to share with you something that wasn't a sample library, a plugin. It's more of a technique that really helped unlock some work for me. And this is um, something that came about when I was composing for a short film recently. I was having a really hard time delivering the final cue for um, the guys that I work with, and they're normally and still are so wonderful to work with. By this, I just mean I would send them something, kind of master it even, and they'd be like, this is great, don't change anything, here we go. But for whatever reason, everything I sent over just wasn't moving the dial. So I was in need of some help, and they're very supportive. They would send me songs to be like, this is the kind of vibe we're looking for, maybe be inspired by this. I think as composers, we go into two modes when this happens, to find something. Either we self-isolate, which we've all been doing, and don't listen to anything, don't do anything. And then hopefully something comes to us as we're kind of experimenting in a void. For other people, they immerse themselves in songs and sounds that really inspire them and hope that something kind of, uh, you know, uh, courses through them and then hits the keys and it's, it's, it's happening. For me, I'm the second one. I need to hear stuff that inspires me in order to feel like I can come up with something else. However, I was still struggling with this a lot. Um, and everything I was listening to, I just felt like I couldn't really get a grip on what was happening. And by this, I just mean like I wanted to kind of understand what was going on in the song and then take that, maybe keep the key, change the chords or keep some of the chords, maybe alter them a bit, change the key. I remembered that there is actually a function in Melodyne, which is some software that a company called Celimony make that allows you to input the song or piece of music could be something as simple as Oasis or as complicated and kind of weird as like, I don't know, an ambient Arthur Russell record. And it can tell you what the key is, what the BPM is and what the chords are. And for me, this is so helpful because I can't read music very well. Um, I can learn by ear, but it takes a long time. So this was just a kind of code, a cheat code for me to understand what was happening behind songs the producers were trying to help me be inspired by so I could write something kind of similar, but obviously different, take my spin on it. And that's just what I did. So um, we're in Melodyne. People think of this tool mostly as a pitch correction tool for vocals. It's so, so much more than that. I'm going to find the song. I'll, I'll, this wasn't the song they asked me to kind of be inspired by, but um, it's, uh, it's one that you probably know. It's Time by Hans Zimmer. And I'm going to just drag it in here, and it's going to use a uh, polyphonic detection algorithm, which is one of many algorithms to kind of go through and understand what's happening behind this music. It's going to take a minute because it's very smart, but, you know, it takes a while to render. And once it does its thing, it'll give us the key and give us the chords and give us the BPM. And then we can take that information and be inspired by it or kind of leave it alone, whatever. But for me, I was kind of blown away that something could do this. And maybe you've got a tool out there that I don't know about and it kind of does this for you. I'd love to know what that is, but this is what I used. So it's gone through its listening pass and here we are. Um, in not that much time, it is gonna tell me, if I click uh, here, by the way, it is gonna tell me that it's in G major and it's gonna give me the chords the entire way through. All the way over, I'm seeing, you know, um, F sharp, F, F sharp diminished, E minor, G, D, C. I mean, those are simple chords, right? But maybe we're so overwhelmed that like we forget how simple things are at their kind of base form. And this gives you a way to see what the heck is going on in the song. And I just found this really, really, really helpful. And I found myself putting other songs that I loved in just to find out what the heck the chords were and everything like that. So this was a crazy learning tool for me. And I love this. And to go one step further, something you can do is actually, if you want, go to the export menu and you can go export and then you can actually export as MIDI and then send this in to your digital audio workstation, put some instruments behind it. Obviously don't just leave it there and bounce that, but change things around, try, you know, a different voicing or something like that on the chords and then work that way and then kind of make it your own. Um, so you can do that. And also we're not kind of done here because uh, what you can do is right click on some of these chords and see alternative voicings, you know, or reanalyze them. So it's really helpful um, to just have this level of control and sophistication to better understand where to go uh, based on the stuff that you're super inspired by. So I wanted to share this with you guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. Um, and by the way, this works. I'm using the Fancy Pants Melodyne Studio, but this works in the smallest version of Melodyne 2, in the, the, the cheapest one. So download a trial, see if it works for you. Let me know what you think. And thank you, as always, for watching.